Somebody said talk about uh, Osama some Osama some merch situation. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that even a real situation? Yeah, I I don't it's that's it's, it's not even his fault. Like I I don't like I don't want to take him down when it's like yeah. he's not doing the fulfillment of his merch. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So many people sent me that. Like somebody just sent me like such and such as manager is talking to like underage people. I'm like, first of all, yeah, bro, it's not the rapper. So why are you trying to get me to like tear down the rapper's name based on like I? <laughs> I'm like, how do, I'm not out here just like trying to expose people for dumb Chris, shit. Chris Hansen. What? Chris Hansen. That's what I was going to say. What is that? You don't know who Chris Hansen is? I might. He, he's, 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 a, he's the white, the old white guy that exposes everybody. For oh, yes. Yes. Every, anything. You know, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You don't check but, the merch before you send it out. Huh? <laughs> But it's this, it's this guy that's a part of uh, Osama Sun team. I don't know if you know who it is. His name is Stomach, and he's like, uh, he's like the Joy Division of Osama Sun. He's he, he's he's with him twenty four seven. Uh, he's recording the videos and high tech stuff, all, all that shit. Huh? Wait, you talking about Osama Sun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's oh, this dude oh, named I, Stomach, right? Okay, I know who you're talking about. I saw the tweets on Reddit. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, but they're 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 going at his ass right now. Cause he did the merch, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did all the merch and stuff. He made. He just made the stuff. He's saying that he just made it. He doesn't have anything to do with it dishing out or not being dished out or anything like that. He just so. So he just made the design. Yeah, I think so. That's what he said. Let me go back to the story. I'm not sure if he posted anything about it today, but let me see. it's the it's the manufacturer's fault. <sighs> Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I think he took them down, or they probably just. Mm. Yeah, he deleted the tweets for sure. But again, it's like getting at uh, you're getting at Osama son for no reason because it's not even his fault. Yeah, they going at the wrong people. Yeah, and I understand maybe like going at Osama son to maybe get him to to check the people that he hired right mm -hmm. exactly so maybe maybe that's why yeah and you know that he be a, he's also around like netspin and other people too so he has a like his name is relevant when it comes comes to that lane of uh being a, des a designer or whatever we gonna call it or you know so graphic designer or whatever yeah yeah so he plays a big part in that, but everybody's on his ass right now, man. It's bad. <laughs> Everybody on Sama Sun head too. Like Ooh. with the merch shit. I'm I've just I've just been seeing that shit on Twitter everywhere and IG. <sighs> Is that like at the same time though, rappers are known for scamming, so I don't know if it even like does anything. Yeah, man. They, they ain't gonna lie. Yeah. And Osama son, how old is he? Like 18? No, nah, he's. Wait, KG, how old is he? 20? He's 20. I think he's 20. Yeah. All right. So I guess I guess he's old enough to like handle his own shit. But it, again, like Rolling Loud and like the label, like they're going to be doing that sort of operation, you know? Mm. He's not going to be handling the merch distribution. Yeah. Plus, he definitely hasn't even recouped his deal, so like technically he doesn't even get that money back, so he don't give a fuck. Yeah. He's like, if a label wants their money and not to get charged back, they're gonna have to fix it, not me. But he should say like I'm sorry, maybe. Yeah, of course. It's like lucky how he didn't go to his show. And then the fan <laughs> cried or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was crazy. That was, you know, that, bro, it just shows you that man. Lucky got a cult, bro. He got a cult fan base, man. They love him, man. Even yeah, the they, mom. They, like, they definitely like. They definitely, you know, troll Lucky all the time. But at the end of the day, they love that dude, bro. 
I mean, he, he's, this is why we talk about not being an industry plant and growing a real following. Cause lucky, I remember lucky. I was listening to him in like 2015 on SoundCloud. Yeah. Um, so that's that really slow growth. Now look at him like with no yeah, promo. Crazy. If you were to take promo and marketing budgets away, lucky's still going to have a career. A lot of these new rappers are not. But does, does luck, Bible language, so does Lucky prove that is Lucky proof that your career is never like over with? You know what I'm saying? As like a underground rapper or or a underground rapper that has like a like a cult somehow. You know what I'm saying? Like say if Lonely never got the Cardi cosign or something like that, or never got the he never was in Opium. Would he, could he, you know, still blow up, of course? Like, do you think Lonely had to? I think no matter what, and this might just be me being overly confident in myself, I feel like if I do anything for an extended period of time and I really stick with it and try and figure out, like, how to do it, I feel like I could do anything. And I feel like most people are like that. Like, okay. if, like, okay, you're telling me. Do you think that if someone did YouTube for five years, every single day, they were checking analytics, like studying this shit, don't you think they could make mm -hmm. a full-time income off this? Yes. Right. So what I'm saying is if you want to be a rapper and you really dedicate your life to this shit, yeah, certain people like, you know, I'm white. I don't really have the aesthetic of being a rapper. So maybe that wasn't like what I said before. I can't be one, but Lone, if he stuck with it for five years, didn't get signed to Opium, I feel like he would have been good. Like, if, okay. he, if, he, if he actually put in the work ethic. No, you're right. Okay. Now that I think about it. <laughs> right? Like, if, if you're a rapper and you drop a song a week, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you're going to blow up, but if you really, like, not just drop the songs, but you, like, study what song did well why did it do well and mm -hmm. what promotional me mechanisms worked well you're gonna figure it out yeah you eventually gonna you know figure like it that's out, what yeah. happened with yeet yeet just figured it out yeah and his team yeah yeah is lucky proof of that i mean some rappers are just uh -huh. trash though but i think that ra some artists can just get better too though even if you start out trash Bob, who, what team do you feel like has the, I mean, what artist do you feel like has the smartest team behind them that you didn't talk to before or something like that? Like, you'd be Opium. like, damn, like, I didn't even know, I didn't even know any shit like that. Opium. <laughs> I swear to God, like, if, if you post the wrong thing, you're going to get a phone call. You, they're tapped in. They're okay. All right. It's out there. I so mean, they, so they, know, they, won't, they won't call you. Somebody yeah, will call course, you. Yeah. yeah. Well, you mean somebody. You said some, somebody will call. Because I didn't, I didn't like say professionally. I didn't call the homicide gang. I didn't say them niggas is trash. Like, I didn't, I didn't say so much shit about them. Like, I didn't literally. <laughs> no, it's, it's more know. like if, if you say like fake news type shit. Like, oh, yeah, there, fake news. There will be something about like, uh, you know, remember when Homicide Gang was allegedly the reason that Kari delayed the tour? Remember yeah, that? Oh yeah, I, post, so, I posted a video saying that was like, not, like I didn't say like it was just false, but I said like, that's like a, that's a rumor. narrative. Like it's rumor, not, yeah, yeah. It's the rumor, yeah. Yeah, so like, you know, we posted it because I don't know where it came from, what the evidence was, but we were like, allegedly, this is what happened. And so then like, you know, they contacted all the pages being like, yo, that's just fake news. Um, yeah. But they, they keep like, they keep their eye on the narratives, making sure that everything is going the right way. Or at least yeah. it's like PR, making sure you don't get the bad PR. Yeah. Or let's see. Yeah, just anything fake, they'll they'll shut down. Okay, but like opinions, like you can't control opinions. So yeah, of course, yeah. But 
but I feel like, you know, a lot of the times we put the marketing on Cardi mm -hmm. as in we think that that's the reason opium is up, but like, I feel like they also, he just, the people he keeps around him, like they're really tapped in with the culture. Yeah. And so they know what's going on and like how to promote. Although I don't know what they're doing with Lone, thinking that they can drop the Quavo <laughs> song. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe and, that's and just him. And, and yeah. And especially with like, I don't know. I don't know if you know, like there's a lot of people that still bring up like the beat Bino act allegations. They say like he has stuff around his name and stuff like that. That's why they don't get as much support. Mm. I mean, they that's still get, the they still get support. I've yeah, they it. do at the shows, of course, but like, I don't know. I just feel like people fuck with them because they're a part of OP. Literally, bro. Like, nobody's, I don't hear nobody saying, yo, I'm finna go bump this new homicide game. No, this shit trash. Nobody's like hype for that, man. At the same time, like with the allegations, but I agree that they, they just have hype because of opium. Like, if they were to just drop that by themselves and they were never co-signed, would they be up right now? That's a question. No. Yeah. Um, but, like, with the underage stuff, like, I don't think people care that much about it. They do, but, like, opium fans, let like, give it the pass. Right? Yeah. Because uh -huh. Cardi can't do anything wrong, no matter what he does. Like, he could literally be the, the, he could be the terrorist that like took down the Twin Towers on 9-11 and people were like, oh, no, nah, it's cool. It's Cardi. 